discretion is advised. Dad, where the hell are we going? We're going somewhere very, very special. Ah, uh, man, that's how you know it's gonna suck. Take a good look, kids. This is our childhood home. Wow, it looks marvelous. I agree, it looks pretty nice. Let's go in now. This was our living room. I used to sing and dance all over the place. Wow, it looks good for an abandoned room. This room is giving the creeps. Ha <laughs> ha. Zara scared. Suck my dick. This was my first tricycle. When I finally rode it right, my mother gave me a crown. Hey, how come we never get any crowns? Because you bastards are always doing bad stuff. No, we don't. Zara, you joined the gang three weeks ago. But enough of that. Let's explore some more. This is my bedroom. It looks a little creepy now, but it used to be pretty. Yep. I took your mother's virginity in this very room. Damn right. We kissed for a little bit and he took off my clothes with his teeth and started sucking on my neck. Then I put some ice cream on her nipples and... We get the fucking point, damn it. Now can we please move to the next damn room? Says the former porn star. This is our kitchen, where I learned to cook my first cake. Too bad that a rat got in it in the oven. Wait! Who the hell is that dude? I'm Jackson Persons, and I work in the town construction department. So does that mean you're gonna fix this house up? Actually, I'm here to tear this motherfucker down. Demolition starts tomorrow. Sir, you can't do that. This is my childhood home. Look, we've received multiple complaints about this house. They say it's unappealing and would like it to be replaced with something useful, like a park or homeless shelter. Well, um... You don't have to tear it down. We could turn it into something useful. Oh yeah. Like what? Um, 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 a hotel? All right, I'll send some men over here to convert this place into a hotel. However, if this place doesn't get enough business in the first week, I'm destroying it. That's a little unfair, but all right. As you can see, we did not change the outside because I figured it would give your hotel a unique look. We did. However change some of the inside, let's take a look, shall we? Wait, the logo is a picture of my wife practically naked. It gives the hotel a broader appeal, plus your wife is hot as hell. Now, let's take a look on the inside. We designed the living room to a new lobby for you guys, while still keeping the antique theme. I wanna be the lobby woman. Alright sweetie, you and Zara can tend to the lobby. How fucking no, mom. I am not gonna do that bullshit. Zara, watch your goddamn mouth. You curse so fucking much it's ridiculous. And if you don't wanna do it, I'll just get Zack to do it. I'll do it. I like hard work unlike some people, Zara. Eat shit, Zack. So let's take a look at the rooms, shall we? This is the basic hotel room, which was originally your bedroom, Kimberly. Wow, you did a real good job, Jackson. My pleasure, Kimberly. Let's check out the upgraded room. These are the upgraded bedrooms, which have a different design and even a vibrating bed. I wanna try, I wanna try, I wanna try. Knock yourself out. Oh hell yeah, baby. <laughs> shit shit shit, that hurts so damn bad. Sorry about that. We need to run a few tests. Anyways, let's move on to the last type of room, and this is our final room. The honeymoon suite. We designed it for couples, since there are many of them in this neighborhood. Anyways, I'm out. Remember to keep this place jumping or I'm tearing it down, and Kimberly, get rid of the fat motherfucker and call me sometime.
Don't talk to my wife like that you son of a bitch. Fuck that guy. Anyways, let's assign some duties. Annabelle will tend the lobby and book rooms. Zach, you're the bell boy, and Erica, you and Zara will be maids. Does everyone understand? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma but what are you and dad gonna do? We'll tend to the kitchen and cook. Also, the rooms are $100, but don't charge until the end of the stay. Now let's put on our uniforms and get to work. Come on, Zara. Let's get to work. Fine, but you bitches better pay me extra for breaking my bones. Oh yeah, girls, I need you to go to the dollar store and buy complimentary items for every room, like mints. Hey Erica, I'll just go to the store myself and get the mints. You can stay and tend to the customers. All right, and make it quick. I'm going back to the kitchen to help Diesel make a famous Dawson meal. So Erica, how does this uniform look on me? It looks fucking sexy. Thanks, sis. Excuse me, but is this hotel open for business? Yes, we're open for business. All right. I'm Gracie Switzers, and this is my husband, Jimmy Switzers. We're on our honeymoon, and we're wondering if you have honeymoon suites. As a matter of fact, we do have a honeymoon suite. Let me show you. We need a little help carrying the luggage, however. I'm the bellboy, at your service. Jesus Christ, what the hell is in these bags? Alright, I hope you enjoy your room. If you need us, we'll be in the lobby. Wow, those girls seem pretty nice. And this room looks pretty great, too. Yep. I'm kind of hungry, so I'll check out the kitchen. Alright honey, I'll be waiting up. Kimberly, is that you? Yes, it's me, Jimmy. Do you remember when we last met? Yes, I do. Man, I can't believe I'm dating the queen of the school. And I can't believe I'm dating the most handsome boy at school. Ha 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 ha, looks like the little faggot finally found himself a girlfriend. Diesel, can you please go away and stop messing with my boyfriend, you're so annoying. That little bitch is your boyfriend. I would expect better from a babe like you. Hey man, she told you to stop fucking with me. Drop the gun, now. Officer, the kid behind me keeps harassing me and my girlfriend. That doesn't mean you pull a gun, and you're too young for a girlfriend. Come with me to the police car. Kimberly, I might be gone for a long time, but promise that you'll always love me, and if I get out, you will marry me. I promise, Steven. So now that the loser's gone, how about a kiss? Fuck you, Diesel. I wouldn't kiss you if you were the last guy on Earth. So, um, did you keep your promise? Sadly, no. I married Diesel. Don't worry, I'm married to Gracie Switzers. Besides, I'm pretty sure Diesel is a pretty nice man by now. Yeah. I guess he is pretty nice. Alright, sir. Here's your trademark. Wow, Dawson thank meal. you, sir. You forgot your chocolate. If you need anything else, don't hesitate to call me. Diesel has really changed. Alright, I just bought the complimentary stuff. Let me see what you bought. Zara, what the fuck? You just bought a bunch of dildos. I know. You're supposed to put one in every room. We're not running a sleazy hotel. Now take these back and get some mints. Well, if you don't like it, take one and fuck yourself, bitch. Excuse me, but I've been traveling for a while. Do you guys have any available rooms? Yes, let me show you to one of our available rooms. By the way, do you need someone to carry your luggage? Oh no thanks, I'm fine. Seriously, what the hell are you doing here? This is your room, Shinji. I hope you enjoy. By the way, the bed vibrates. Wait, you don't have any keys. Sorry, but we don't have any keys. Just lock the doors if you need privacy. If you need anything else, call us. Just came from the kitchen and got you this piece of bread. Also, I met Thank Kimberly. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Did you see Diesel too? Yes. I was stunned at how nice he was. That's great. I'm glad he is no longer harassing you. Anyways, I'm going to the shower to freshen up. Don't take too long in there, honey. Wait a minute, there's no towels in here. I'll just call the mates. Hello? Yes, this is Erica, 
How may I help you? I need some towels in the bathroom. All right, we'll be on our way. Mom, I have a question. Where are the towels? Jimmy Switzer needs one. Oh, don't worry girls, I'll handle this one. You girls can help Diesel out a bit before I come back. Where the hell are their rooms? Some towels for Mr. Oh holy crap. I'm sorry. Guess I'll be leaving now. Shinji Ikari, you disgusting animal. You got fluids on my uniform. I will be charging you an extra thousand dollars for this. I'm so fucked up. I can't believe this. How the hell am I supposed to get this off? Wait a minute, I got an idea. Finally, the towels are here. My husband has been yelling about them for an hour. But why are you wearing nothing but a towel? I got a stain on my uniform and I put it in the washer and threw on a towel. Couldn't you have just wiped it off with a towel? Oh, I didn't think of that. Let me deliver the towels, and I'll be out your way. Here's your towels, Mr. Switzer. Thank you. Just set them on the sink while I take a shower. Alright, enjoy your shower. Whoa, Kimberly, what the fuck are you doing? Kiss me, my beautiful Jimmy. Don't you have a goddamn husband? Yes, but I still love you. Now come on, no one has to know. Kimberly, get the fuck off of me. Uh-oh. Whoa, what was that? Jimmy, I was checking outside to see. Jimmy freaking Switzer, how dare you? This was supposed to be our honeymoon. And you landed on top of my wife. I'm gonna kick your ass like I did in middle school. P.S. I pissed in your beer. No 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 stop. I hate this stupid ass hotel. Well well well, if it isn't Zara motherfucking Dawson. We haven't forgot about you snitching and sending some prisoners to fuck us up. That was a real bitch move, Zara. And as payback. We're shooting up your ugly ass hotel. Hey, I was gonna destroy that shitty hotel anyway. I hate this stupid ass hotel.